Real 111T here, guys. Uh, this is going to be a video introducing uh, my wife's car kit. Um, I had the chance to take all the stuff out of her car. Um, I'm a little bit limited in her car and that she kind of reins me in as far as how much space I can take up. Okay, I'm not just limited by my like work requirements. I don't really have work requirements for that car, but... Uh, Basically, it's the car that we use as our main family vehicle, so I can't put stuff in the back seat, and I have to leave the back area with enough free space that um, we can use it for grocery shopping and stuff like that. So this is basically what I threw in there. You're going to see some similar items here. I'm going to go over a couple of them now, and then we're going to open up the uh, German kits and that backpack for uh, a little closer look. Uh, we got one of these first aid kits. Looks very similar to the one in mine. You see this one, yeah, you know, we got uh, the, the little tab broke on it. So it's a good thing that bungee cord's on this one. But this is uh, doctored in a very similar way, I think at the same time as that other one that I have. Orion kit, basically the same thing that's in mine. We've basically gone over the contents of this. I've doctored it exactly the same way. Uh, difference here, uh, I have not... Um, upgraded the flashlight. So this is basically uh, the flashlight you're dealing with. Uh, I might replace this with an LED model because you'll get a lot better burn time basically. But, you know, we both have flashlights that we carry around so it's not such a big deal. This is an emergency diaper kit. It's like a changing pad and a few three or four diapers in case our diaper bag runs empty for the child okay uh, this is one of those collapsible rain jackets okay and then basically the rest of it is contained in these three modules now this one here doesn't we this is one of the ones I showed when we were talking about the German uh, assault packs uh, this is one of the ones that was just on its way out to the car this one here has basically um, a US issue wool blanket. I don't know if it's 100% or not. I do know it's very old, like World War II vintage wool blanket. Okay, that basically came with this house. Um, there's a uniform up in the attic to match it. Um, and there's also, I believe, one of those grabber blankets in there. Uh, this is the food kit, and we're going to go into that a little bit. And then We've got here is just sort of a kind of a little bug out bag container for the other items in the car kit. Uh, this kit isn't as sweeping as or well thought out, I guess, as mine, and it's really it really has to do with uh, you know <laughs> uh, I'm limited in the space. Um, but there's a lot of different stuff in here. We're going to open up these two at least and take a look at them. So stick with me, guys. So inside the food kit, there's definitely some parallels here, too. You know, we've got some trail mix, four mountain house meals, some oatmeal, some cocoa, some hard candy, some of my coffee mix. Okay. We've got one of the Swedish kits, very similar. This is one of the aluminum ones, though. Um, I'm running short on the stainless steel ones. Uh, but it's got another one of those blue enamelware mugs. Uh, some of those scrubber sponges. Uh, got a lead my fire spork in this one. Um, in place of the stainless steel spoon, I'm not sure. Some waterproof matches down there and a couple of lighters. Four bottles of heat. Okay. And then attached to the outside of the bag was one of these uh, USGI canteen kits. Um, basically, just the issue canteen, one of the, I think it's a knockoff of a warm weather cover. I don't think this is an issue warm weather cover, but it's close enough. And then an issue cup, an issue, this is one of the type 2 tablet stoves. Uh, and you see this is a stainless steel cup. It's a little rough, I got it used, but I cleaned it up real good. And I put the barbecue paint on the outside of it. Um, 
there's actually quite a following for the ones with this style handle. You see when they made the new uh, Pathfinder cup, they went with this style handle. And uh, this style handle is actually probably better. It's kind of a mix-up. These uh, tablet stoves, they're, they're, they're kind of interesting. Um, but this, if you're going to use it with a campfire, is very stable. This handle is very stable. You can actually, um, I guess this is designed with the old, uh, some of the old silverware that they use with their mess kits. You could slide in there and basically use it. You set this in, a, in into the embers and it all got really hot. You would slide that in there and you could pick it out of there. So maybe that's an argument for me to find another stainless piece of uh, cutlery to put in here. Um, if you're using a tablet, these, these uh, cookers aren't bad. They're kind of limited because that's all they're good for really is tablets. But what you do, I mean, you can actually pick it up and have it lit and actually be holding on to it. I don't know if I would drink out of it while it was lit, but I mean, if you don't have a place to set it down or if you're walking, I wouldn't necessarily say marching, you know, under full gear. But if you're walking from point A to point B, you could probably walk along with this thing actually lit and operating, um, you know. This um, heavy cover lid is not a great fit. Oh, great. Well, we'll put that back together. Hang on a second, guys. I mean, it does fit on there. It took a little bit of brute force to put it on there, but it goes on and it comes off without too much resistance. But, you know, it's definitely not just going to fall off, you know. So that could be good or bad, I guess. All right, uh, so that pretty much covers what's in this part. Let me give me a second. I'm going to switch over to the uh, the other bag. All right, so we got some redundancies here. Uh, this is the contents of the main pack. Okay, <clears throat> I left this canteen kit and the heavy cover lid here. I put I reassemble it, but since it's attached to the outside of that bag, um, I left it on the table. Um, there's a assortment of things in here in that main pouch. One of them is this bag here, which is, uh, I guess, an Alps Mountaineering kind of a lumbar pack. Um, it's designed to carry two bottles and a bunch of stuff. And this is actually an earlier kind of a woods kit. Before I started working on this, this project, I had this. So this is kind of a more modern take. Um, inside there, you see one of those Swiss Alpen flash ponchos. You know, best $3 poncho you can get, basically. Um, but yeah, a lot of this stuff is actually from inside here. Okay, there's some some of the bigger things we're just riding around loose. Some of those bigger things include um, USGI poncho liner uh, as a blanket, um, a 8x10 camo tarp. Um, there was one of these hat, German hats in a buff, and then I found inside this another one of these German hats. So I got two of those. I've got a a, a boonie hat with a mosquito net, uh, just a knockoff boonie hat. Over here I got one of those wool watch caps inside a plastic bag. And inside the wool watch cap, I don't even see that little orange in there, is another one of those uh, sole bivvies, the, um, the nicer... Um, Nicer of the sole bivvies. And um, so we got that in there. Um, some other loose things. There's a little first aid kit, some super glue, some little rolls of duct tape, a bunch of matches, some of those wax balls. This is, I think, where that uh, sport sportsman's blanket was. It, well, I don't think it was. it's in this one. I think it's actually part of this main kit. We got some 550 cord here, some Morocco 550 cord, and uh, a slit, a, a used Mora companion, and a brand new Mora companion. And this one, I don't think this has. Um, normally, I cocoon a, a dome bar on there. I think this. Well, that might that might be a dome bar. Yeah, it might be a diamond hone, and this is a ferro rod here. I'm pretty sure one of these cheap ones that popped out of the handle. Now these are all in plastic underneath this electrical tape, so it's not going to be all sticky when I take it out. These, uh, this originally came with some plastic, but I got these stainless steel ones. Okay, and they fit in there, and they will work in a fire. 
Uh, I don't know how well they work. They're not really the heaviest duty ones, but I've tried it a little bit and they haven't sprung a leak on me. I've got, uh, basically this is a knockoff aluminum canteen cup and a knockoff cooker. This one hasn't seen any action. Okay. Um, Esba tablets for, well, either one of these, but this is the nicer kit right here. Um, one of those seven packs of lighters. Another one of those gimmicky little fire forks. They came in like a four pack, I think. Then, uh, one of these sharpeners. I got a, I think this is my Camillus version of this knife. I've got a Camillus and an Ontario version. They're basically the same thing. Pilot survival knife. I found a couple of these spoons in there. And, uh, you know, that's basically it. Um, if I'm up at the property, there's a bunch of stuff I can do with this stuff. So, yep. That's basically what she left me put in her car. So, when we're driving around, we got this. Now, you notice that, that the, this kit has some cutting implements because this kit isn't typically going with me to work, basically. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I brought this stuff to, to my work, I might get a SWAT team called out after me. So, yeah, that's basically what we got in there. Oh, I didn't say it was in this decon container. It's a heat sheet blanket. I found that I can cram a heat sheet blanket into one of these decon containers and uh, basically reuse it. And that protects it pretty well from getting punctures. So, yep. Any questions, comments, put them in the... Uh, in the comment section. Thanks, guys.